I'm Benjamin Ahn. I'm 22 years old and I'm an Ivy League medical student. I'm also a scientist, a musician, a world traveler, an adventure seeker, and I want to be the next soul survivor. I go to Brown Medical School and I want to be a surgeon, a researcher, and I think my mind runs a little faster than most people in life. I mean, just even when I'm not in the classroom, I sort of have to be building something, tinkering with something. I get to meet all different types of patients in the clinic. The past four and a half years I've spent researching neuroinflammation and Alzheimer's disease. And I'm a computational biologist by trade, uh, and I've worked on National Science Foundation grants, even helped write some of them, presented at international conferences, worked at a pharmaceutical company. I was in a chorus growing up, even in my own acapella group, a rapper, and even a rock band. I mean, me? Me? Can you imagine me? This, like, nerdy Asian guy? It's I was at this bar talking with someone about computers, and I'm like, dude, you definitely use your computer for like internet surfing and Microsoft Word and porn. And so, like, what? I don't know what you could possibly contribute to this conversation, but I was on this camping trip back in college, and there was this Eagle Scout guy who was like, oh my gosh, look at me. Let me like build this fire. Um, and he couldn't do it. He's like, I need my like fire starter 3000 or something like that. And I'm like, just give, give me that. Give me, give me that knife and give me that piece of wood and just. Whoosh, here's that fire, and I'm like, ah, ba 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 ba. Like, just people who think they know it and they really don't. That that grinds me a lot. You know, when I was traveling to Ecuador, I was actually working as a teacher, and I was living with this Ecuadorian family in this uh, rural rainforest kind of village. I mean, the house only had one light bulb and not even a front door. I mean, traveling, especially as an Asian guy, you know, I definitely stand out. So you get that experience of people trying to scam me. And so I walked up to it and I was like, man, I want, I want some of that meat. But how do I say it in Arabic? I'm like, okay, chicken thigh. Point to my thigh, yeah, thigh. The chicken breast, Bre breast, breast. And the guy's like, oh, I get it, I get it. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. The influencer people uh, on the social media, they get me the most. I mean, they're the type of people that post those like pastel Instagram posts and like, oh my gosh, look at me, I'm so informed about stuff. And I'm like, you have no idea what you're talking about. This is my apartment in Providence, Rhode Island. It's a renovated attic. It's not much, but it's all I really need to be happy, to be honest. I mean, that's kind of the mindset I grew up with. Both my parents, uh, their families immigrated here to the States and uh, you know they sacrificed a lot for me to be here and so I tried my best to be a good, loyal son for them. Uh, but at the same time, I'm trying to figure out what it means to be my own man. And I'm a huge fan of the show. I mean, I've been watching it since I was a kid, building my own survival shelter. And if the multiverse is real, then there's a timeline where I'm on Survivor and I just know this is one. 